This podcast is brought to you by the Present Truth Evangelizing Ministry. Our study verse today is again from John 3.16. And I believe this is the second time it showed up, but there is a reason for everything. The word of God reads, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. As we saw in our previous study on this, Jesus was speaking to Nicodemus about the nature and process of salvation. Jesus says to proud Nicodemus, who thinks he has it all together, who had been in the church for as long as his life, who was a respected teacher in the church, that he must be born again. Isn't that something? That even Christians and religious people need a saving too? Another point that goes with this is is that John 3.16 is not just for Christians. For it says, God so loved the world. It doesn't say, for God so loved Christians or for God so loved church. God loves everyone the same way, regardless of their sins, regardless of what they do. It is written that he sent Jesus to die for us while we were yet sinners. The love of God is beyond us. John 3.16 is a grand summary of the Bible. God only asks us to respond to his love and the only way we can respond to his love is to believe in Jesus. As I was saying that the Bible is the grand, the greatest verse of the Bible and I call upon you today to respond to it. The, the verse says, for God, that is the greatest being, so loved, the greatest feeling, the world, the greatest population that he gave, the greatest gift, his only son, the greatest possession and the greatest gift, that those who believe on him might not perish, the greatest punishment, but have everlasting life, the greatest reward. Friend, my prayer is that you understand that Jesus did not only die for you, but for all and treat everyone without partiality. Also, I pray that you shall respond to his call today to believe on his son, Jesus. Thank you once again. Uh, This podcast is brought to you by the Present Truth Evangelizing Ministry and see you tomorrow for another verse of the day.